Hi, this is Lucia with Yard of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to talk about three reasons why moving on will attract your ex. Now, moving on can mean that you are no longer focused on getting your ex back, or it can mean that you have moved on with someone else. So how will this attract your ex? Stay tuned and you'll find out. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. Have you downloaded my app, Silencio? If you haven't, the link is underneath every single video and podcast. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. Okay, so I've actually previously done a video on this topic titled, Why Moving On Attracts an X. And I'll put the link in the upper right-hand corner. However, I have more to say on this topic, so here I am again. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that you often hear people say that when they moved on, that's when they've heard from their ex. How annoying. (laughs) So why is that? There's got to be a reason with so many people experiencing that. Well, it's the same reason why you can manifest a text from your ex, for those of you that have tried. We're all energetically connected, and if you love someone, that frequency of love connects you to them even more, and you can feel what's happening to them on an energetic level. That's why mothers often can feel when something has gone wrong or something's happening to their child. So when you mentally and emotionally moved on, you are now not as focused on your ex as you were before. You've let go of resistance. Now, I'm sure you've heard the expression, what you resist persists. So what does that mean? It means that if you focus on what you don't want, you will continue to get more of what you don't want because you're resisting it. Even though you're resisting it, you're focused on it. It should actually, the quote should be, what you focus on persists. But of course, what you resist persists sounds better. So when you are no longer focused on the fact that you were broken up with, on the fact that your ex is no longer in your life, you are releasing that resistance. You're letting go on an energy level. And that's why that situation can now fall apart. It can crumble because you are no longer giving it life. You're no longer giving it energy with your attention because what you focus on expands. So if you're no longer focused on the fact that you're not with your ex and you let go energetically, that's what it means to let go, they can somehow feel it. And that's why you often hear from your ex when you've mentally and emotionally let go. But you can't fake it. You can't pretend that you've you've let go. You can't lie to the universe. You have to actually decide to just let go and go, you know what, I I give up. Okay, fine, I'm, I'm moving on, whatever. And that's when you hear from them. And also, you know, people say, I'll do anything to get my ex back or I did everything to get my ex back. Really? Well, are you willing to let go of constantly thinking about them? Are you willing to shift your focus to something else? Are you willing to let go of the negativity you're putting into the situation by thinking that you'll never get them back and by being upset about it? Well, probably not. So don't say that you'll do anything to get your ex back because you're not. And yes, I know I'm asking the impossible as usual, but if you can train yourself to do that, to just shift your focus to something else, you will see miracles occur. So that's the first reason, because you're letting go on an energy level. Reason number two, why letting go will attract your ex, is that it raises your value. And people are often afraid to show that they've moved on or pretend that they've moved on because they think their ex is also gonna give up. And I've actually done a video on that and I'll put uh, the link in the right-hand corner. But as usual, with matters of the heart, it is counterintuitive, and the total opposite is true. They're not going to think, oh, well, I've lost my chance of reconciling if I change my mind because they moved on, so I want them back. No. 
And people also think when they've been dumped that they need to prove themselves to their ex in order to get them back. However, unless you cheated or took your ex for granted, then you don't have to prove anything. What's attractive is that you show someone that if they're going to walk out of your life, you're not chasing them, you're moving on with your life. It raises your value because most people will chase an ex when they've been dumped. And when you don't do that, you actually look like you're moving on, you automatically stand out from most people and your value goes up. That's why it's so important to do no contact. That's why I have my app Silencio that I mentioned at the top of this video because they have no idea what is going on with you. Have you moved on with their, your life? Are you dating someone else? Who knows? Well, you know, but they don't. And then finally, number three, and before I tell you what the third one is, be sure to give this video a like in order to help the YouTube algorithm recommend it to other people. And then they too can find out how letting go will attract the wrecks. And this is because rejection causes obsession. Rejection raises interest level. Rejection gets our attention. We're wired for survival and it feel, feels like our survival is at stake when we've been rejected. So even though initially your ex rejected you or you had to reject them because they took you for granted or they cheated, now by not chasing them, leaving them alone and appearing to move on or actually move on, now you are rejecting them. So as I said, we are wired for survival and it feels like our survival is at stake when we've been rejected. Now, obviously that's not true, but that is how the primitive brain looks at eject rejection. If you're looking at this logically, it doesn't make sense. But when it comes to matters of the heart, logic goes out the window. People make emotional decisions not logical ones, because if they made emo uh, logical uh, decisions when it comes to matters of the heart, this channel would not exist because no one would be trying to get their ex back after they'd been dumped or if they'd been cheated on or taken it for granted. They would just say, okay, this person isn't for me. I'm moving on. Yet here we are and you're trying to get your ex back. So it's not logical. So even though your ex initially rejected you, by not attempting to get them back and moving on or appearing to move on, they will feel rejection because everyone expects to be chased after a breakup. And if you had to do the dumping because you were cheated on or taken for granted, then your ex will definitely feel the rejection and most likely react. You're showing that you don't need them and can live without them and this is so attractive. One of my clients, he cheated on his ex. Yes, he was a bad boy. And she broke up with him and later on when he found out that she was dating someone else he freaked out and contacted her so there you go there's proof that moving on will get your ex back and also their ego will not let them rest until you chase them that's why people send breadcrumbs they're like hey why aren't you chasing me you know they're trying to get you to notice them and they'll feel like they've lost you and that they can never get you back you've now taken away their choice to come back if they change their mind. When you break up with someone who didn't want the relationship to end, you can assume that you can always get them back. And as I said, you assume they're going to chase you since you're the dumper and they didn't want you to leave. However, when you see the person who you dumped is now moving on with their life, it's shocking because you thought they would be pining away for you. And this is what may cause your ex to reach out. So to recap the three reasons why moving on will cause your ex to be attracted to you again. Number one, on an energy level, you are letting go. You are not resisting. Number two, you've raised your value. And number three, rejection causes obsession. Okay, so now I wanna hear from you. How long will you wait before you move on or before you make it look like you have moved on? Please leave your comment below. And in the meantime, if you would like my help personally to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember, that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and 
enlightens.